From a very early stage, I began to realise that there was something quite different about computers and computation. And that was very, very appealing because you could, you could create something substantial and substantive out of what was in your head. I, I suppose my main personal research interests are focused on in an area called personalization technology and recommender systems. So I'm particularly interested in understanding how to help users perform the various tasks they do online or with their mobile devices. Um, and what that means in, in practice is that we build systems that allow us to learn about people's interests, learn about their preferences, and we use that information to adapt the software that they're using so that it better fits their particular needs. The, the reality now is that you, you couldn't really shop easily in Amazon. It's, it's too enormous a book catalogue. It's, it's not bound by the physical constraints of a, a real-world bookstore. So just providing people with access to the wealth of inventory that Amazon has available to it demands something more than a box that you can type queries into. And I always like to say to, to my friends and family, it's, it's kind of like if you walked into a physical book, bookstore, shelf after shelf of books, where do you start? But now imagine that that physical bookstore rearranged itself just before you entered the door so that the books that you're most likely to be interested in were on the shelf right in front of you. Um, that's the type of analogue to the digital systems that we're building. I think I'm quite creative, at the very least within my sphere of research. So I seem to be able to ask questions that people perhaps haven't thought to ask yet, but turn out to be important questions.